Hey guys, good evening, welcome back. Um, I've not done uh, any of these videos uh, lately. Uh, this is the last race of the season uh, for outdoors uh, at Appledore. This was the national championship here in Holland. Um, there was two groups. We had the um, electric class uh, fronty uh, day license and the main guys with the with the full license there was a bit of a a bit of a problem with uh, with us as day licenses not being allowed to drive with the main guys because we could have uh, influenced the championship so they ran us as two different groups um qualifying went fairly fairly perfectly I made one small mistake and um it cost me 6 seconds and that would have um, then sealed two 22 lap second uh, 22 lap runs in seven minutes. Um, yeah, I rolled it, put it on the grass, lost six seconds. But um, my second uh, qualifying run was quick enough to stick me on pole, and I had um, a good run in the first run. Um, did 21 laps. I think I missed out on a 22 lap run by about a second or something. So. We were, uh, I was up there on pace. Um, if I look at my times um, in the qualifying and the finals uh, and the final run times, it would have put me second overall in the whole day behind Patrick. You know, I'm really happy with that. Uh, that is really something. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll do the this video and then um, I'll do the second and the third final as well. Um, the first final, I'll start it now. Here we go. Right. Get away, uh, a little bit quick. Wait a minute. There we go. Beep. I oh, get away quite cleanly. I went wide in the first corner. Um, I don't know when I'm on pole. I, I always seem to think I need to break for the first corner. A bit of a moron, but there we go. Anyway, we're coming down, uh, down here. I already pulled a little bit of room on Ben. Not a lot. Um, Julian was still battling with Peter for a couple of laps, luckily, because uh, that young man is very quick. So me and Ben managed to sort of stretch a lead away. As you can see straight away, I'd, I'd pulled half a second. Um, car was on fire. As you can see the car is loads of corner speed. Um, done quite a lot of work at getting the setup right. Here we're running the, the four and a half uh, gearing. Normally with the club race, we're running 4.0. I don't know why, but with 4.0, the car just feels a lot quicker than with 4.5. Um, obviously, yeah, the, the speed's different, but the car just feels better with 4.0 than 4.5. So um, next year, I think with the club race, we're going to uh, all vote to go to 4.5 instead of 4.0 because everything else uh, is 4.5 in ATS, uh, Tony Sport, club race. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still leading here. I've got a, a what 1.1 second gap against Ben. I think this was about the biggest gap it, it was for the whole race. Um, what do we come around here now? We get uh, 1.3. I think 1.3 was the biggest gap we had um, the whole race. As you see, the marshal uh, really rushing to help. Well done. Um, yeah, we got up to 1.3. I think I started to, I was very, very, very nervous, you know, I'm, I always am with the finals. Um, it doesn't matter how hard people push me in, the, in practice, you know, in the finals I'm a, I'm a nervous wreck. So as you can see, I've, I've got the quickest time at the moment. Um, cars flying, absolutely flying. Um, yeah, Julian uh, takes it from me, absolutely nothing between us, you know. Um, Ben's closing slightly but he's got a problem because Julian's catching him as well um, so he yeah he needs to watch watch behind him um, but also watch in front of me now the gaps come down to that point nine um, Ben in the middle of the session was really strong um, I think I started to to, to just get a little bit too nervous I remember saying to myself come on Phil breathe breathe um, I think uh, I bite my tongue when I'm driving 
and um, at the end of the final I think I'd bitten my tongue so much uh, it was bleeding so uh, yeah there we go it's coming through uh, again Ben's got closer this time I think it's down to half a second now yeah it's down to half a second now uh, Julian's coming again quickly um, I need, I, I had made, I had some scruffy laps, you know, and 20.2 lap, it's not quick, not quick enough, um, to be, uh, to be leading the field through. Unfortunately with the, with the camera, the way the cameras work here, we're, we're not uh, in sync with the, with the cameras, so here we come down here again. Good line, good line there, a little bit wide, no, a little bit tight going on the straight, it was okay. Um, I saw Ben coming and I thought, right, now, come on, Phil, pull up in out the grenade, let's let's get some laps in. And down 20.0, started to pull it out to like six tenths. Julian closed the gap again by two tenths. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's working. Um, I was absolutely, I was shaking. I was really, really, really shaking. Now, I've still got uh, three minutes to go. Coming down, yeah, getting it there. I got back up to eight tenths. And, uh, ben catches a little curb there, give me a little bit more of a break. Um, yeah, I'm going well. And ben closes the gap a little bit uh, again. A, a 20.2 lap. I don't really know where I'm losing the lap time, you know. The car is just phenomenally quick. Ben, you yeah, there again, the curbing. You'd be careful on that curbing. Julian knows everything about that. I think he hit it about seven times. And um, Yitta as well. Yitta was super quick, but uh, he just couldn't put it together, you know. And uh, luckily for me, because I think if Yitta had got their car uh, to, to handle the curbs like he wanted it to, he would have uh, he would have been uh, forced to be reckoned with. So there again, you can see Ben's now got the gap down to two tenths. Um, it's getting spicy. Uh, Julian's also down uh, within a second of me as well. So, uh, yeah, I've got Fedor in front of us here. He, uh, obviously, uh, I think the guy's now uh, realising, oh my God, they're coming. And, uh, just, yeah, I took that one a bit wider. Whoa, ben gets really close here, really close. He took the straight a bit wider. I get really lucky here with Fedor. He moves out of the way now for me, comes back across the line and stays. And Ben just had to get off the throttle, I think. And I think actually that was my saving grace. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think so. I think um, I got lucky there with the, with the back marker. Um, yeah, again, seven tenths. Can't, I, they just, uh, I think I saw the light now. There was a little bit of daylight between us. We've got like 47 seconds to go. Just more, three more laps, I think. And uh, and, we're, and we're, we're finishing. So, um, yeah, the car was great. Really, really nice to drive. I got, like I say, I'm really nervous. But, uh, yeah, just uh, I hope to bring it home. And obviously you can see that Julian is getting really, really close to Ben, pushing. Um, yeah, that lap, he just kissed the curb and uh, he rolled it over and that cost him his third place. Um, ben, uh, I think, just accepted his fate here and thought, you know what, he killed his curb there, race is over, I'm done. And you can see I'm, I'm, I'm right in the driver's stand. I've had to point me out there. This is me here. I'm absolutely exhausted. You know, Ben stood next to me. He's the first guy to congratulate me. You know, I was absolutely exhausted. I couldn't speak. Great race. Fantastic result. Again, uh, very happy there. That would have, uh, that was a great race. So, uh, see you again for the next race, boys. Thanks for watching.